My name is Donna Sumners. Thank you for being here tonight to listen to my informative speech. Alpha Gal Syndrome. No, it is not the syndrome of girls fighting for dominance in our species. Most people whom I have spoken with have never heard of this syndrome, although contracting it can drastically change one's lifestyle. Today, I would like to tell you about the cause, symptoms of a reaction, treatment, and prevention of this life-altering allergy. Alpha-gal syndrome is caused by a tick bite from a lone star tick. When a lone star tick bites a person, it injects a sugar molecule into the body called alpha-gal. According to the Mayo Clinic website, in some people, this triggers an immune system response that later produces mild to severe allergic reactions. While the allergy caused by a lone star tick, while the bite is relatively rare, the number of cases has sharply increased from the roughly two dozen that Dr. Scott Cummins and his colleagues first studied in 2009, as he told Fox News in June of 2018. Symptoms of a reaction to this allergy or syndrome may include hives, itching, and abdominal pain, as well as swelling of the lips, tongue, face, and throat with the most severe being anaphylaxis. A lack of universal awareness of this phenomenon in the emergency department and urgent care setting could lead to misdiagnosis or delayed diagnosis according to an article in the American Journal of Emergency Medicine. Another common problem that inhibits diagnosis is the delayed reaction that most people have. My friend and colleague, Kayla Pepper, suffers from this syndrome. She did not have her first reaction for a month after her tick bite. Another sufferer, my friend Drake Maclier, didn't have a reaction for an entire six months post tick bite. It took Kayla having three reactions with each reaction increasing in intensity to realize she needed to see an allergist. Her first and second reactions were similar, both resulting in nausea, itching, and hives. Benadryl eased her symptoms each time. However, the third reaction resulted in swollen fingers and breathing trouble. She was rushed to an urgent care facility where they administered an EpiPen to relieve her symptoms. Kayla has been able to avoid having any more reactions since receiving her diagnosis in 2013. With the severity of Drake's reactions, it was only after his second reaction that he sought the help of an allergist. Drake's first reaction was nausea and hives. But his second reaction included facial swelling so severe that he was unrecognizable. Drake has also been able to avoid having any more reactions since his diagnosis as well. So, how can this syndrome be treated? The only treatment is to avoid foods that trigger reactions. Meat eaters beware. The list of foods to avoid includes all mammalian meat. Yes, that means no more beef, no more pork, no more lamb or venison. Say goodbye to ribeyes, barbecue, lamb chops, and deer jerky, to just name a few. Some people with alpha-gal are so sensitive they must also avoid dairy as well. Drake falls into this category. Prevention is the key to avoiding the alpha-gal allergy. 
The best way of prevention is to simply avoid areas where ticks live, especially wooded areas. However, in our region of the country, that is easier said than done for a vast number of nature enthusiasts and hunters. But it is also helpful to wear light colored clothing that fully covers the limbs when hiking or camping. To use insect repellent to check the body for ticks immediately returning from outdoors and to wash clothes in hot water after returning as well. I hope by the information I have shared today on the cause, symptoms, and prevention of alpha-gal syndrome that you will be aware of the risk of this life-changing syndrome. Thank you.